Hi everyone, uh, probably a shorter video this week, um, not too much gossip or movie chat, although I did see Immaculate last week at last and I really enjoyed it. I thought it went uh, harder in the finale than I expected to and it was nicely sort of low-key and slightly off-kilter throughout. You'll have heard me discuss it on the podcast. Um, but the reason it's not so much movie focused this week is it's my um PSA time for I think I've mentioned this before for libraries uh local libraries now I don't know the system in the USA I don't know the system really anywhere else in the world I know the system in the UK and libraries thrive on people signing up to use them whether you use them once every six months or every week it's great for them to have people signing up. So please, 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 if you have a local library, please sign up. Now, I, I just went along. Uh, I thought I would pick up a tiny Stephen King novella that I should be able to finish by the time I drew back. And uh, Sleeping Beauties, which has been on my radar for a while. I might even have a copy on my shelf. Uh, I don't know if I'll finish that by the time it's due back, but I can renew the uh, date online and as long as nobody's requested it, I get kind of seven, uh, I get extra time. But if someone's requested it, I think I have seven days to return it. I need to get used to the library hours. Now, in the area that I'm in, <clears throat> I hadn't signed up yet. It's been a few years, but um, it's a kind of part time library now. The, the hours have been cut uh, quite drastically. They're open on Monday till 7 p.m. The other days tend to be half days, including a Saturday, and I work some Saturdays, so I kept forgetting to pop in. But I went in, staff were lovely, really welcoming. They want people to know about all the facilities they use. And I mean, you know, going out of the way to tell me about the Wi-Fi usage, uh, the computers, the workspaces, which I believe they, they now call uh, warm spaces uh, for people to be there. If they're struggling, uh, you pay money for printouts and, and copies and scans, but you can get computer usage for free. I, I can't recall if you have to book ahead. I was, you know, smiling, taking this information in, explaining to the lady that uh, I had all at home. I was, I was good, but thank you. Um, other than that, they sometimes have, you know, uh, group talks. They, they had an event on in the library when I was there for a local uh, fitness centre was uh, encouraging people to have a little bit of a body MOT and uh, and look at what was offered at the fitness centre, which was council run. And uh, I said, I don't really know the results, thank you very much, but I have been trying to go to the gym lately. Uh, it was just, like, it was really nice. And it, it's what you expect a library to be. This one's quite small, quite a limited selection, really warm, really toasty which is good for them and uh, good for people who need a place to to maybe just be able to sit down and be warm for half an hour or an hour. But also, um, she was quick to tell me about this, this Borrow Box app. So, so I'm telling you, because I do understand that uh, we're sort of in a, an era now where you can have a, an Audible subscription, you can get your free stuff on Spotify, you might be, you know, like like me, popping into charity shops now and, now and again, thinking, oh, I'll buy five books for a pound. That's great. But with this uh, Borrow Box app, you can, uh, you download it, you can access ebooks, you can access audiobooks. I believe uh, they're mainly free. Uh, she did say something to me about even newspapers, so I don't know what the, the format is. You can search for the whole collection, you can request uh, books, you can do everything. And uh, I may be misremembering the letters, maybe PPL, it may be something else. Whenever you do uh, borrow books from a library, you are in a teeny tiny way still contributing to the income for an author. They will receive uh, you know, the equivalent of uh, residuals or whatever. It's not going to probably change the world but it is a direct way to reward someone else without costing you anything. So it's free to join a library. I don't know if all libraries are the same, but they don't have uh, late fees at the moment because they did away with those during COVID, apparently. 
and haven't reinstated them. Maybe that's just this local library. I don't know. Um, and you get a whole wealth of extra resources to use. Now, you might not need those resources, and that's great. But if you sign up, it, it shows people who make these decisions, who crunch these numbers, that that is a local area being used. That is a local resource that people need, whether or not you need it directly. And maybe you have a day when you're at home and someone's in changing your, you know, your heating system and it's cold and you want to wonder. And if you have a local library, you can go in guilt free and be warm and read a book for a couple of hours. That'd be nice. But, uh, you know, hopefully you don't have to uh, use it or rely on it. But there are people that do. And I would just ask, please, 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 if any of these videos ever do sort of one good thing, I would like people to join up a local library. As they, even if you don't need it, I think you need to use it once every six months to keep your membership active. You are an extra number that shows that is a place being used. That... Like, it really makes a difference for the people who need it, for the staff who work there, and for, for everything that they can have, can really rely on them being able to hand over a piece of paper or send a, an email that says, we have this many members. These are the people in the local community that use this building, that use our resources. This is why we should continue receiving funding and be a hub at local communities now which is which is really what they are for a lot of people so i apologize that this isn't uh, movie centric i apologize it's probably even more dull than my usual videos i'll see the subscriber count go down like this um but that is a genuine uh request as i say i don't know if it's the the same system uh, elsewhere around the world but if it is uh, please at least join up for free if you get in there and there are too many hassles uh, if the timing never works out for you then obviously it's it's not going to be for you but um, just joining up is enough to give them that little boost and you might find that there are is stuff there that you really enjoy and I personally find that oh, okay I went for some reliable Stephen King just to get my uh, my first book checked but I always used to just find random stuff in libraries that I probably would never read um, because didn't jump out uh, wasn't in my wheelhouse whatever but then years ago I was with a local library and I I, <laughs> I don't know why I took out two books one was like the history of Guinness and it was a really good read. It was all about how they started uh, years ago, you know, trying to get the, the 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 beverage to the same consistency where it was going around the world. And back when they started, travel times were a lot longer. So they had different ways of uh, sort of adjusting the recipe so it would be at a point where it got here, there and everywhere, and people got a preference for different types of Guinness. So that was one. I have some of that useless information in my head from that. And the other one was uh, Pop, the uh, history of Coca-Cola. Uh, I can't remember the, the full title, but it's something like that. And that, that was a fascinating read. And it basically explained how Coca-Cola, no pun intended, but I guess it is kind of intended, put themselves in a bit of a bubble by creating bottling plants that they would uh, sort of uh, subsidise and the, the, the way the money went round. Coca-Cola was always doing great, but there had to be a point where that, you know, that bubble would burst. And uh, it was it was fascinating to see that, see that play out and uh, have that in context of, of like how big they were and what was going on behind the scenes. So randomly two books that I can't even recall why I picked them I think they were on you know some of the front facing tables and I was getting a stack at a time I was uh I had a week off where I was doing some voracious reading and um yeah it was 
can you do voracious reading or do you read voraciously? Can can both apply? I'm not sure. That is the sort of exciting note that I think I should end on. Uh, please, please, please find out if you have a local library. If you do, please, please, please join up. If you know authors, uh, if you're, uh, you know, connected to the book world anyway, you can do them a favour by requesting their books. I think uh, libraries then either tend to at least buy a copy in to put in the whole system, or if it's a, you know, a, a big enough seller, uh, different libraries will have enough copies that they will send around the branches when people request them. So it's it's really helpful for people kind of throughout the different branches of the, the literary publishing world. And it's really helpful as a part of their local community. That's it. Uh, maybe more movie chat next time. Until then, bye.